Okay, so Zoom Virtual Backgrounds is a great feature that allows you to display an image or video as your background during a Zoom meeting. If you want to access this feature, you can access it in two ways. The first way is to open your downloaded Zoom application on your computer and then click on the gear icon on the top right hand corner and on the left hand side you should see the virtual background feature. Or when you are in a Zoom meeting, if you click on the arrow pointing upwards next to the video icon, you can also access it from there. And if it isn't showing in both of these places, then log into your Zoom account on zoom.us. Click on settings on the left hand side and scroll down to virtual backgrounds and enable that box. Once you start a new meeting or reopen your Zoom app, it should be visible by clicking on the arrow pointing upwards next to the camera icon. Now I'm going to click on virtual backgrounds. So you can select one of these default images or videos as your desired virtual background or add your own images by clicking plus and choosing if you want to upload an image or a video. You can get really high quality images that are free from websites like Pixabay, Pexels, Unsplash.com. So for example, you can look for images like office spaces, or you can look for images that are a solid color, for example, black, and then you can add a logo and that gives it just a very clean and professional look when you're conducting meetings. One more thing to be aware of if you want to use the virtual background feature on Zoom is that not everybody with a computer or phone can use this amazing feature, unfortunately. There are some requirements in order to use virtual backgrounds. If you're on a PC or Mac, you need at least an i5 processor or better. If you're using an iPad, you need an iPad Pro or better. And if you're on an iPhone, you need an iPhone 8 or better. And if you're using an Android phone, you won't be able to use this feature at all at the moment. As you can see on my computer, because it hasn't got an i5 processor, I am not able to use Zoom virtual backgrounds without a green screen. For a full list of the system requirements, please visit the link in the description below. Also, if you don't have a green screen at home, what you can do is to find a background that has some kind of green element. In my case, it is a green bush outside my garden. So if you sit in front of it, the virtual background feature works a little bit better depending on the size of the green element and also the lighting of your environment. So that is just a little tip there if you don't have a green screen or if you don't have access to it right away. One of the simplest yet most important tips when you're taking part in a meeting has to do with repositioning your laptop or iPad to slightly above eye level. The reason why this is important is that when you're looking down at the camera, other participants in the meeting will be looking up into your nose. So what you can do is to grab an old Amazon shipping box or just any box about four or five inches in height. A stack of books can also work. Place your laptop on top of it. And when you're in a virtual meeting, in essence, you're making eye contact with participants on the other side. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like the video and also subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.